Welcome back everyone to Organic Lawn Warrior Channel. My name is Joe, I'm the Lawn Warrior, and today I'm going to show you how to restore faded mulch in your flower beds. So let's get started. So today is a quick video. I'm going to show you how to quickly restore some faded mulch in your flower beds in your house. Um, as you can see, I have a bunch of flower beds in the front of my house. Uh, we put these in about about four years ago when we first moved in this house. My house was a it was a foreclosure house. We completely redid it. It was a mess, um, but we have a lot of great shrubs now in the front with that drip irrigation, which is a game changer. Um, we have a Christmas tree here uh, behind me. This was actually a live Christmas tree from a local farm. Um, we got this when we first moved in for our first Christmas. It's stayed real healthy which is great but today i'm going to show you how to use this dye here it's a brown mulch dye it comes in other colors as well it comes in red and black um, you can get this off of amazon it's prime eligible it's 24.99 um, lawn star i believe used to make one um, i couldn't find it so if someone knows uh, where their product is uh, please comment below but i used this earlier in the week i'll show you my results um, it's a really quick uh, mix in a tank sprayer um, and you can spray it out and essentially this saves you from having to buy mulch um, lots of times what these mulch distributors do is they dye that mulch anyway um, uh, they'll grind it up and they'll put a dye in it and usually that dye will last you know for a certain amount of time um, you know a lot of times Lowe's and Home Depot they sell their mulch bags um, they're usually on sale every year um, and usually those are just dye mulches um, So this is a great alternative um, in my area. It's about 25 uh, Yards uh, about a $25 a yard of mulch um, in the front of my house. It's about you know five to six yards of mulch um, So, you know, that's a that's a good expense there um, if you mulch every year um, I used to mulch every year, but I'm gonna show you why I stopped doing that and why maybe you should stop doing that as well and try this as an alternative. So like I was saying, a lot of people, what they'll do is, is they will mulch their lawn every year or their flower beds every year. And sometimes what it'll tend to do is, is it'll keep piling up. And this actually happened to me in the fall. I had to take a bunch out um, and throw it into a separate uh, area of my yard. Um, and it's starting to compost down. Um, so what I'm trying to do now is keep a light layer in here and just uh, to keep with this dye that's very inexpensive to do um, because you don't want to keep piling this up you want to have a nice slope so there's drainage of water um, so what I'm gonna do is keep a light layer in my flower beds uh, probably for the next year or so and just keep continuing with that dye because it's very inexpensive um, and it's gonna I can do it as much as I want um, so I can keep that color in my mulch so this is really easy to mix up um, what you can use is a $10 one gallon uh, sprayer here. Uh, you can get these at Home Depot or Lowe's. They're 10 bucks, about 10 bucks, I would say. Um, so real cheap. You can use these, wash them out, reuse them. So I went to Home Depot, purchased one of these for 10 bucks. Um, and then I'm just gonna be using my um, liquid FERT measuring cup here to measure out the dye that goes into the mixture here. So on the back here, it says to mix uh, two to five ounces uh, per one gallon um, so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna do five ounces to get a little bit more concentrate into the water mixture here um, and then I'm gonna mix it into exactly one gallon in my sprayer here and when you are doing this I suggest you wearing gloves and when you are pouring this either pour it uh, near your mulch bed or maybe in your grass um, so you don't get it on any concrete because you will definitely have to wash it off um, so please maybe wear some gloves like I'm wearing here um, so all you're gonna do is take your measuring cup. I'm gonna pour in my five ounces. And then I'm just gonna throw it in my sprayer here. And then once you get done, I suggest you definitely rinse out your cup here and get as much of that, that dye uh, into your tank sprayer. As possible um, because if you do let this sit if you let this sit in your cup it definitely will stain this cup um, and if you're using it for other things like I do for my liquid fertilizer 
um, and you don't want that stuff in there, definitely uh, get that stuff out of there and rinse it out. And then lastly, you're just going to take your top here. I'm just going to screw screw it on. And then I'm just going to shake it up a little bit, get that mix going in there. And then lastly, you just want to undo this, the uh, top here, work up that pressure in there so you can start spraying this out in your flower bed. So this side of my flower bed, I actually did on Wednesday this week. Today's actually uh, Father's Day. Um, so as you can see here, uh, it did darken up. Um, I only went with uh, two ounces, so I'm hoping with the higher ounce, um, as you can see here, this, this side hasn't been touched yet. So you can kind of notice the darkness over here and the lightness over here. And then hopefully once we go spray this with a higher concentrate in it, it's going to really darken this area up over here and darken this area up even more. And before we spray this, uh, another quick tip, uh, you want to start from the back and work your way forward to yourself here. As, as you can see, I have, a, I have a live edge here on my flower beds that I clean up with the weed whacker when I go to do my uh, weekly, I actually cut my lawn twice a week, um, but I only weed whack once a week. Um, so I clean them up with the weed whacker, but you wanna start from the back of your flower, flower, excuse me, flower bed to your front. Um, that way you're not stepping on any of the dye. Um, and also uh, be careful uh, when you're spraying, if you have uh, flags, I have an American flag here, um, any kind of flowers, be careful of what you're spraying. Uh, hold your sprayer closer to the ground um, and just concentrate in those areas as best as you can. Um, and also, um, please, you want to apply this to a dry mulch. You don't want to apply this to a wet mulch. So if you have sprinklers that hit your flower beds, I would wait maybe into the later afternoon uh, so those flower beds dry or just don't do it on a day that your sprinklers uh, come on and maybe hit your flower beds. Um, some of my sprinklers do hit my flower beds. Um, so make sure you apply it to a dry mulch. Let it dry for at least 24 hours um, before you get any kind of wet. So that's pretty much it. I only have a little bit left in my one gallon tank. Uh, when you get done, uh, make sure you wash this out so you can reuse this. I would fill it up with a little bit of water and then just run your sprayer to water out, uh, get that water through that hose so you can reuse this. So it doesn't, none of that dye, none of that mixture gunks up the sprayer. So like I said, got a little bit left in my one gallon tank. So I'm happy with that. So with that one gallon sprayer, I was able to do this flower bed here. <laughs> all the way around i was able to do my tree out here my tree behind me over there um, and obviously i was able to do this whole flower bed uh, right here as well and like i said normally that would probably be about five to six yards of mulch um, sometimes even more depending on if i do some in my backyard as well i have some mulch around my pool area in my back um, so, like I said, this is a great alternative. It treats up to 2,800 square feet, um, which is probably a little bit on the um, low side. You could probably stretch this out if you really wanted to, because like the instructions say, two to five ounces per one gallon. So depending on your square footage of what you're trying to cover, um, you could probably really stretch this out even more. So if you're looking for a little curb appeal, and you're trying to darken up your flower beds here. This is a great alternative. 
and as you can see this side came out really nice nice and dark now um, and it just makes that grass even pop out even more and makes that flower bed pop out even more uh, from your front for some really great curb appeal and what's really great about this product is you can put this down pretty much anytime you want as long as that mulch is dry and you can save yourself a little bit of money on some mulch. If you found this video content helpful today, make sure you smash that like button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm so other people can find this video about this product. They can find my channel. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. And for everyone, thank you. Thank you so much for getting me over the 500 subscriber count. Um, I love all the comments. I love all the views that I'm getting. I love making this stuff. I love working in my lawn, making my lawn nice and green. Um, thank you so much, all you 500 subscribers out there. And I just hope this can channel just keeps growing and growing and getting bigger because I love doing these kind of product reviews. Love you showing guys, everyone, girls, guys out there, uh, everything I do in my lawn to get it organically looking better like I have here. So the new ones out there, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. And I'll see you in the next one. Go ahead. Let me see you start it up. All right, go ahead. What are you doing there? Nah, what's that called? Edging, right? Good job. We got future lawn warriors over there, guys. Look at him, he's already live, edging the live edge there. <laughs>